All right, so one more example here of uh, doing a one-sided limit. And this one I'm not going to quite graph all the way. So we've got h of x equals the square root of x squared minus 25. And we're doing uh, x is approaching 5 from the right. So again, we're looking at the limit as x approaches 5 from the right, the square root of x squared minus 25. Well, again, intuitively, um, I'm going to take numbers a little bit bigger than 5. So maybe, you know, 5.1, 5.01, 5.001. So I'm getting closer and closer and closer to the number uh, to the number 5. So I'm bringing it in closer and closer and closer closer. Okay, so again, we're, we're approaching from the right. Well, if I take numbers a little bit bigger than 5 and square them, um, as they get closer and closer to 5, the number that I'm squaring is going to get closer and closer to 25. And if you subtract 25, well, it's going to get closer and closer to 0. So basically, the moral of the story here is, um, this function would be defined for numbers a little bit bigger than 5, and we can just plug it in. Uh, we would get 5 squared minus 25, which would be the square root of 25 minus 25, which would be the square root of 0, which is just 0. And that's all we've got to do is just plug it in. Notice uh, you'd have to be a little careful. If somebody said, what's the limit as x approaches 5 from the left, um, here I would say this does not exist. It doesn't really make sense to ask this question. Because um, notice if you take numbers a little bit smaller than 5, well, if you square them, um, it's going to be a little bit smaller than 25, so that when I subtract 25 away, I would basically end up getting a negative number underneath my square root. And we don't take square roots of negative numbers. Uh, we're going to restrict ourselves to real numbers. And this would give us an imaginary number. So it wouldn't really make sense to plug in 5 from the left. Again, algebraically, if you plug it in, you'd just get 0. And you'd say, hey, it's 0. So um, these are things you have to, again, kind of be careful about. Um, you have to really think, when can I just plug it in, and when can I not? So. Again, here, if I take something bigger than 5, it's going to be bigger than 25 after I square it. Well, if I subtract 25, I'm basically going to get something close to 0, but it's going to be a little bit bigger than 0. But again, if you take the square root of that number, it's going to get arbitrarily close to 0.